So the Impossible Burger is better in every single way. This new version is not only craveable for the meat eater, it's actually preferred 3X, the last version, but it still has no cholesterol. It has a, a fraction of the use of land and water. Um, and it hits the spot for those of us who really crave a delicious, craveable burger. Well, in the last two and a half years, we've gathered every shred of feedback from not just our celebrity chefs like David Chang or uh, Mary Sue Milliken, but also from meat eaters around the country. And one of their biggest requests is to make this product more versatile, easier to cook. So while it still is beefier and tastier and has better texture, now this Impossible Burger, this new recipe, you can braise it, you can put it on a slated grill, you can cook it almost any way a normal burger from a cow can be cooked. It grills beautifully, it, it's good to saute with so you can make chili or maybe a ground, ground beef that you put in an empanada. You make meatballs really well. You can do really anything you can do with ground beef. You just don't want to overcook it. When you overcook it, it gets dry, just like beef would get really dry. It's most similar to ground beef that's sort of 80% lean and 20% fat. The biggest challenge for us is the fact that our mission is only served well if meat eaters everywhere happily pick our product. And the good news is that's what we've seen nationwide to date. But the biggest barrier is most meat eaters have been terribly disappointed by the plant-based meats of the past. This is truly different. So leveraging the credibility of celebrity chefs is an important way to overcome that barrier. Up until now, the soy products that are mimicking turkey or bacon just haven't done it for me. So we really didn't bother to get too involved. So for me as a chef, it's very exciting to have this new tool in my toolbox. We prototype 100 new products a week. I've tried prototypes of an impossible steak. I've tried a prototype of an impossible chicken noodle soup. There's no shortage of innovation and R&D at Impossible Foods.